Technology is something that is just going to continue to evolve and be a part of our day-to-day -day life. And models of phones or anything, they always evolve. And the Garmin Zero site has been no different. You know, I go back to the very first one I ever got. We were field testing it in Texas before a bow hunt. Never seen anything like it. The directions may have well have, have been in Greek or Latin or in crayon because, I mean, we had no experience with anything like this. It was just a theory. Now, as we fast forward a couple of years and lots of time in the field and lots of innovation with the incredible team at Garmin, you take the Garmin Zero site and look at what the Zero A1i Pro has become and everything that archers and bow hunters have asked for has been built into that and more and will continue to evolve because that's just how great Garmin is. This particular model, this is a prototype from last year of the A1i Pro that I got. And, and I received it, I believe, in, in late July, leading up to a hunt that I was going to be doing in Kentucky. I remember going through the process of setting it up and, and just having the, wow, oh, this is so much easier than the original models and what I could do with it and the features that we all talked about and dreamed about. And that's from spending time uh, in the field. I mean, we had riders events where people came out and it was amazing to watch the guesses and how wrong they were on range when it when it come to a uh, using a product like this. And then the time in the field and the engineers being involved and the marketing team being involved at Garmin, the time in the field just really caused this product to expand. And the things that I really get excited about now as we look at the A1i Pro is it, how easy it is to set up and calibrate. Uh, it's going to be so unique to you as an individual user out there that you're going to be able to make micro adjustments uh, in, in the entire setup while you're out using it. You're going to be able to calibrate this exactly to your bow, exactly to the specific arrow and the broadheads that you're going to be using while you're out in the field. So if you're a guy that's got other trips planning, you shoot multiple arrows, different sizes, different weights, you can build all of it and it's saved right in here. But the initial setup aspect of this for the average guy, uh, you're going to go out and calibrate it, set it up to shoot a 20 yard shot. You're going to then type in your bow speed, your draw length, the arrow diameter that you're shooting, and it's going to build your pin stacks right there for you. Then you can micro adjust from there just like any other site to be able to get precision. When you look at this particular unit, you're gonna be like, wow, that's big, it's bulky, it's not gonna fit. Well, you can quickly detach this unit as well from your bow for travel to and from whatever you're doing and then you just hook it back up and you're good to go. As I mentioned before, the custom arrow profiles, I really like that because I've got some old arrows a lot of times if I'm going hog hunting that I'm gonna fling at them while I build a profile specifically for those in my hog hunting. I've got a profile built for my fixed broadheads when I was planning a trip to, uh, to Africa and I can just switch them back and forth simply by toggling. So when you look at the Ingenuity, you look at the, the product as well and it's supported by the Garmin Express uh, <laughs> for updates. So if they find something they want to add to it, you can quickly go in and, and get it updated. And there are so many other features here, a laser locate feature. What does the laser locate feature mean? Well, you're going to be able to communicate with specific Garmin devices, exact uh, places where you took a shot, where you saw a game go in at it's a silent trigger when you're using it you can basically you know range any animal that's moving any animal that's walking as it's coming across a, a field it's coming through a shooting lane you can hold that and when you let it go it drops the pin right there for your shot you've got the option to have fixed pins in there in certain situations if you want to I mean there's so many features built into this that it is customizable specifically for you which makes to me the Garmin Zero A1i Pro just a product that is something that a guy is going to get so much out of it when he's using in the field. And finally, the biggest question I think that I get is about its battery life. Well, to me, I, I'll put a lithium battery in there and I can basically get about 25,000 according to their specs, you know, ranges and usages out of it. And I'm not going to shoot that much at any given time. I haven't seen the lithium batteries that I put in there be overly affected by cold weather, hot weather, whatever it may be. So so, you know, saying it's going to get a one year battery life, I'm pretty confident based on my usages, I think you can get a little bit more out of it. So, as I wrap up, and you've heard me talk about the Garmin Zero A1i 
sights, the pro sights, the original sights for for some time. I shot the first whitetail deer ever taken with a Garmin Zero. I've been in awe of it in the technology since I first shot one. I'm in awe of the advancements that I've seen now. And I know Garmin, it's only gonna get better as time goes on while they add new features. And like I said, you can download those features a lot of times as, as they come along. But for now, this A1i Pro, it's the cat's meow in my opinion. And you'll see it on my bow as I climb up in a stand this year.